Welcome. In this video, we'll guide you through the process of creating and implementing promotions in B2B commerce. We'll explore four key areas. By the end of the video, you'll be able to understand how promotions are used in B2B commerce, demonstrate how to configure and create promotions, illustrate how to create a coupon, understand how promotions affect the buyer experience. Let's get started. Promotions help boost sales and foster customer loyalty. With Salesforce B2B Commerce Platform, you have the flexibility to configure a discount, specify when it applies, determine who's eligible, and decide whether a coupon is required. We'll talk more about coupons later in this video. The entire process of creating and managing promotions is done in the Promotions Workspace. In the Promotions Workspace, you can offer discounts for specific products, product categories, or other attributes, like an entire order. You define the target segments, discounts, and qualifier rules to ensure that buyers receive the proper savings. You can customize your store pages and checkout flows to prominently feature promotions for eligible customers. Then, you use Experience Builder to tailor how your promotions show to qualified buyers. And localization lets you tailor promotions for global audiences. Buyers can have up to two promotions in a single transaction. One promotion at the line item level, such as a product or product category promotion, and another on their total order. All promotions are set as automatic by default, so your customers don't have to do a thing. The promotion is automatically applied when their cart qualifies. Before setting up your promotion, consider these key factors. Decide whether the promotion should be automatic or manual. Automatic promotions apply to all eligible carts, while manual promotions require customers to enter a coupon code. Specify the intended recipients of the promotion. Use segments to associate the promotion with one or more stores and, if necessary, specific buyer groups. Clearly define what the customer will receive. Specify which products to target and the amount to deduct from the price. Determine what a customer must purchase to qualify for the promotion. Use promotion tiers and qualifier rules to set quantity or price minimums. Tailor the appearance of your promotion to customers. Customize your cart page and other details with Experience Builder. For B2B stores created with the Aura template, configure your checkout to include promotions. Now let's look at the steps in creating a promotion. There are two methods for creating promotions. Let's start with the standard flow. Follow these steps if you use loyalty promotions or multiple currencies. If you don't use either, you can skip ahead to the simplified flow. From the Commerce app navigation menu, select Promotion Workspace. Click New. On the Promotions Detail page, enter a name description, start an end date and time, and a priority number. The lower the number, the higher priority this promotion takes over other promotions. All promotions are automatically applied when the right segments and qualifiers are included in the order. In the Segments tab, choose which segments the promotion applies to, the store or the buyer group, and a store selection. In the Discounts tab, define the target type, such as the product, product category, or transaction, the adjustment type, the currency, and the adjustment percentage. In the Qualifiers tab, Set the conditions the buyer must meet for the promotion to apply, such as qualifier type, minimum product or category quantity, or minimum order total amount. Search the qualifier field to find a specific product or product category. Choose a qualifier type that matches your chosen qualifier. If the qualifier field is empty, choose transaction total. Limit your promotion with either a quantity or price minimum. An important part of the promotion implementation is the ability to update what the buyer sees in their cart. With Experience Builder, you can display the promotion summary, which includes the promotion name or header label and the total discount amount applied to the cart. You can also customize the header label and text size and color and choose whether to display the discount amount and the promotion's terms and conditions. The Cart Totals component adds subsections for the subtotal price and promotions. This allows you to choose whether to display the pre-discounted cart subtotal and the promotional discount amount in the cart totals. Now let's talk about one popular type of promotion, 
coupons. Coupons are a great way to engage customers and boost sales. While other promotions are automatically applied, customers manually redeem coupon codes in your store to receive the discount. You can configure multiple coupon codes for a single promotion, such as offering a 10% discount on a particular product and 20% off the entire order. Customers can apply up to three coupons per cart. To redeem coupons, the promotion must be set to manual. To set a promotion to manual, deselect automatic on the promotional details page. Now, let's see how to create a coupon. First, select Promotion Workspace from the Commerce App Navigation menu and choose the relevant promotion. On the Coupons tab, click New. Use the status dropdown to designate the coupon as active or inactive. Enter the coupon code customers will use to redeem the promotion. Enter an optional internal description. Specify the start and end date for the coupon. Save your changes. The coupon inherits the same segment discount and qualifier rules as the associated promotion. Experience Builder provides an additional configuration option so you can decide how to display the coupon box on the cart page. Select the new coupon component and place it on the cart page. You can then configure three additional sections of the coupon component. Define the link text, color and size of the text and button text in the coupon field where buyers enter the coupon code. Determine the text size and color of the coupon summary. And lastly, add terms and conditions to the coupon display. Let's see how our enhanced features contribute to an improved buyer experience with promotions. A promotions component provides a summary of all promotions applied to the cart. Buyers can easily view the discount they're receiving from each promotion. Within the cart's line items, the saved amount is displayed below the quantity selector for each item with an applied promotional discount. Click on the badge to see terms and conditions of the respective promotion. Next, in the new cart component, two optional lines are important to display if promotions are used. The subtotal amount displays the transaction amount before the promotion is applied. The promotions line displays the total discount amount after applied promotions. The subtotal and total order amount match unless promotions are applied. You are able to display those lines on each page in the checkout flow if you use promotions. Let's look at the two options for applying the coupon code to the cart. This time, let's view it from the buyer's perspective. To input the coupon code, the buyer clicks on your customized text, enters the code, and clicks Apply. Coupon codes are not case sensitive. Once the buyer successfully applies a coupon code to their cart, they receive a success message at the top of the page. The discount amount is displayed in the promotions line in the cart totals component. In the third example, the applied coupon code and the promotion display name are shown in the promotions component, along with the terms and conditions information bubble that can be clicked to show those details. Lastly, the new coupon component displays the applied coupon name, making it easy for the buyer to manually remove the coupon if they don't want to use it. If a buyer receives an error message in the cart, it may indicate an invalid or expired coupon or a potential misspelling. Buyers can't pre-apply a coupon to an empty cart or apply a coupon if the content doesn't match the qualifications for a coupon discount. To remove a coupon from the cart, the buyer clicks the X in the coupon component. When the coupon is removed, they receive a success message at the top of the screen. During checkout, the buyer can view the applied coupons listed in the promotions line as a discount amount. If they decide not to use the coupon or opt for a different one, they must return to the cart. When reviewing an order with an applied coupon, the coupon is displayed in the Applied Promotions component and in the information icon next to the product with the discount applied. In this video, we've shown you how the Promotions Workspace and Experience Builder work together to help you create promotions and coupons that engage with your customers, improve conversion and increase sales, good luck as you create your own promotions. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.